Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you saw our last video, you saw I had an unfortunate incident with the trolling motor. Today we're uh, we're going to be trying to take her apart and bring her back to life. Stay tuned. We're going to start by taking out the five Phillips head screws that are up inside of those holes holding the head together and taking that one off that's holding it on the shaft. Alright, we've got those out and that one off, so now we can pop the top off the head. And we're gonna undo these wire nuts. That's off. Set them to the side. Undo these wires. And then we've got two more Phillips head screws that hold the uh, GPS module in. Take those out. There we go, now that's all disassembled. Next, we pull this off. Take this off. Now we can pull the wires out and pull the foot unit off the motor. And now we can slide this old shaft out. Slide the wires out, and there we go. Got this separated. Once you've got this separated, you just got to find a way to secure it. What I've done is I've taken a strap and just ran it on the boat trailer, ran the motor underneath it just to hold the uh, the foot unit still. Then you've got to take a torch or use some method to heat right here, just around the little metal part on the foot where the shaft screws in. There's some kind of Loctite, some kind of sealant inside of there that you have to use the heat to break loose. Once you've got it sufficiently heated, you should be able to just twist. And that shaft should start to twist and you should be able to twist it out. Now I'd recommend kind of holding it at a downward angle. Just there's some debris falling out of there. You don't want that falling inside of your foot. Right, that's it. Now she's separated. Now we just have to wait on our shaft to come in on Monday and we'll get back to putting her back together. All right, now the next thing you wanna do, I didn't get this part on video, but you wanna take and clean these threads out real good, get that old shaft material out. But you wanna make sure you get a good seal when you put that new shaft in so you're not getting water down into the foot of your motor. But what I did, I took an automotive pick and ran it around through the threads. And then I spun a wire wheel around in it to get the last little bit out of it. All right, now it's been a few days and our new shaft has finally come in. So now we're gonna put her back together. Putting it back together is exactly the opposite of taking it apart. Just follow the same instructions, just in reverse order. You want to take the wires, run them back up through the shaft. All right, and once you've got those wires ran back through the shaft, you want to take the red Loctite 263 put it all around the threads. Alright, get that on there. And 
Once you got that on there, let's twist it back in. All right, you want to take and you want to just screw the shaft down in there, get it as tight as you can by hand, and that should be sufficient. All right, what you want to do next, just take, run your wires back through here, and run your shaft back into place. Once you've got the shaft back on, you want to take and slide this depth collar back over, put it on. Next thing you want to do is put the, uh, the bottom piece of your head back on. Make sure that you've got it lined up with the foot of the trolling motor. So that way the head's pointing in the right direction so you can tell which way you're going. All right, and once you've got that reattached, what you want to do is you want to hook your GPS wire back up to the GPS module. And you want to reconnect your positive and negative wires via the wire nuts right here. All right, now once you're to this point, all there is left to do is to put the top on and put those five screws that hold the top in place back on and you're ready to rock and roll. You're ready to head to the water and do some fishing. Well guys, that'll do it for today's video. I know I'm not the most mechanically inclined person, but I at least hope that I got a little bit of useful information in the video to maybe help somebody that's going through the same thing out. I'm sure there's some things that I that I skipped over, like maybe taking some screws out or something, but the motor. As always, if you like the video, just remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you next time.